file handling, adding a file to the private files block. Files that you would like to upload as resources in your course can be temporarily stored in the private files block on your dashboard until you are ready to use them. In your private files block, click on the Manage Private Files link. The file manager opens. From here, there are two ways to add files. One, by using drag and drop into this area, and two, by using the add a file icon located here. We will look at drag and drop first because it is the most simple and quickest way to add files. I have moved a window with files close by to demonstrate this. To use drag and drop, simply click and drag a file or files from your location on the computer to the open box indicated by the arrow. You will see then the file name and you can choose different views to see the file or files that you add. All common text and image files are supported. To use the Add a File feature, click on the Add a File icon. You'll notice that the file picker opens in a new window. Click on the Choose File button and navigate on your computer to find the appropriate file. Click or double click on the file name or choose open or okay or choose depending on your computer. You will see that the author name is pre-populated if you leave the save as name blank, it will carry the same name as the file you have brought over. And there is a place to choose a license at the bottom. So you may want to add your own Creative Commons license to this. When you are finished, click on the Upload This File button. Now you can see two files in the private files area. When you are finished, click the Save Changes button. Your files are now available in your private files area.